Hello, good morning everyone again. Uh, this is uh, day two of the uh, volunteer data jam. This short video is going to walk you through some of the exercises that we are going to be uh, doing today. So for today, we are going to be doing hands-on. So most of the work is hands-on exercise. So you will be working in teams and for the most part you will be working by yourselves and we will be around to help you if you have any problems so the main objective of the day is we want to validate and publish historical election results voter registration center data and we also want to enter uh, boundary delimitation information and uh, neck volunteer profile boundary delimitation information and volunteer profiles so we are going to have four groups in total we're going to four teams team one is going to be responsible to validate and publish 2012 and 2007 election data team two is going to be responsible to validate and update boundary delimitations using updated data from NEC and the census data team three is going to be responsible to validate and publish voter registration centers based on data from NEC and team four is going to be responsible to validate and publish volunteer profiles using information provided by each volunteer and also validate and publish candidate profiles so i'm going to work on a, a team one which is uh, going to be responsible to validate and publish 2012 and 2017 election data but before i get to that I'm going to just review the schedule quickly. So the schedule for the day, we do registration, we set up the teams, and then we set up all our access to the different sites. Then we will do the exercise details. I will walk you through the details of the exercise, and then we'll get a break. Then we come to exercise part one, and Mohamed Jallo will be responsible to work with you guys to get through the exercise. Then we get a launch. Part two, we get a break. We get exercise part three, we get a break. And finally, we close. So we are expected to close around six. Maybe we'll close a little earlier than six but it looks like we have a busy schedule today so with that said i'm going to then uh, start the process to record a specific video showing team one or group one how to validate and publish 2012 and 2017 uh, election data now in order for you to be able to validate any of the election data and publish that data you need to log in to log in click on get involved and then you will see the login link on the left hand side over here you click login and then you type in your username and your password so if you are going to publish data you need to log in with an account that have access to publish data so this account already have access so i'm going to click login and i'm going to log in now i've logged in successfully and I need to find all the information that I'm going to be working on. To do that, I'll click on Manage, and then I'll click on Content. Once I open up this content page, I need to filter my content. I need to work on election results. So I'm going to select Content Type, and then I select Election Result, and I click Filter. And once I have this filter open, this is all the election result that I'm going to work on. And if you look on the far right, you will see something that says status. The status of most of them is draft, needs review, needs review, needs review, needs review. Most of these results are parliamentary election results for 2007 and 2012. So how are you going to do the validation? This is how. To validate this, you need a couple of documents. One of the documents that you are going to need is a PDF file that I've sent. It's already in the shared folder called election result. And I'm going to come out with, for example, 2007 parliamentary election results. So I'm going to open this up. And this is that election result. So to do the validation, I can do one of several ways. One easy way for me is uh, I'm going to look here. I'm going to take the name of this first candidate here, Mustafa. And I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go to my site and I'm going to click here and type paste that name on the title 
and then I'm going to click filter. And I found one item with that name because each election result have the name of the candidate in the title. So I found one, Mustafa Abdullah of NDA for Parliament. If I go back and look, I will see that Mustafa Abdullah, the party was MDA and it was for constituency one and this is member of parliament result. So I'm going to then click edit on this and I'm going to look what is the result granularity. Since this is parliamentary result, it has to say constituency result. Pulling station, this result is by constituency, is not by pulling station, so pulling station will be blank. Village will be blank, ward will be blank, but the constituency cannot be blank. So I'm going to look here to confirm what constituency Abdullahi, uh, Mustafa Abdullah ran for. He ran in constituency 1, Kailanhu district. So I'm going to choose here constituency 1. So this is constituency 1. Now in what district? I have to type the district over here. This was Kailanhu district. So I will type the district Kailanhu and select. So that's one data that's missing here. So in the validation, if you see data that's missing, you have to enter that missing data. So I found Kailanhu missing in the district. So I have to enter Kailanhu. What region is Kailanhu in? Kailanhu is in the East region, so I selected that. So these two pieces of data was missing. The district and the region for Kailan was missing, so I have included that. Chief done, I don't need the chief done for this constituency. I don't need the ward, I don't need the village, I don't need the polling station because none of these apply. Now, what was the election date? This was August 11, 2007. I can check here again to make sure that was the case. August 11, 11 August 2007, so this is correct. And then I come down what type of election it was parliamentary. So if I look again, this was parliamentary result. So you can see it right here that it's parliamentary result because once the result is by constituency like this, it's parliamentary result. Next, I will come for the candidate. What's the name of the candidate? The candidate name looks correct here. And what's the party of the candidate? It's NDA. So I'm going to type here NDA like that. And NDA will come up and I will select NDA. What is the vote? I will look here. It's 343. Three. What was the vote? 343. Three. The percent was 0, 01.8. What is the percent here? It's 1.8. 0, 1.8 is the same as 1.8. Now, the result status, this result came, this is past election, is historical result. And because it's historical result, I'm going to select final and certified. This result is published based on the final and certified result from NEC. So this is all certified result. So I'll click here certified. Do I have any comments? I don't have any comment at this point. And uh, where did we find this election result? We found this election result on, uh, on different sites. So uh, one place I remember that we found this was, I believe, um, say uh, 2012 so let me look here for 2012 i believe this was where we found it uh, i believe 2012 parliamentary result i have the link somewhere but let me just uh, Look here, I believe it was from here. And go here and uh, 2007, I believe this was 2007 result for president. Uh, this is not the correct one. Okay, so I'll give you the correct URL by the time I finish this video, but we need to include the correct URL here. And then here, make sure you choose published. You want to publish this. And here are the comments say, I have verified the information and confirm that it is correct. You save that and then you scroll down and then hit, well, we need the source by all means. So for now, I'm just going to put neck as the source and then I'm going to hit save. 
and now I've hit save you can see the status of this particular result now is showing publish that means it has been published and how do I tell it has been published if I click on it I will see now that it has been published if I want to test it a little more I can copy the URL of that I will open my window in incognito mode and I will type that result in and I will open it up and you can see that the public can now see this result it is uh, the result it's the result is how remember this is for 2007 August 2007 I can also come here on the results to see if I can see that result and then I can click parliamentary result I want the card result and from the card I need 2007 result August 11 2007 I need the constituency result I'm gonna apply and this will show me all the constituency result and from here I can then choose what constituency was that it was 001 constituency 001 click apply and if I look here I will see that Mustafa Abdullah is the only person whose result has been entered for constituency one and you can see his information right here his picture is not showing up I'm not sure why but I will check that later to see why that's not showing up but we have validated that the result is here if we want to check a little bit more I can go back to content and try to find another one so I'm going to try to look for Alice Foyo and I'm going to type here Alice Foyo uh, or filter and I could not find that like that so I'm going to type Alice only and I'm going to filter and I can see Alice Foyo of SLPP for Parliament 2008 right here so I will select this see it says needs review when it is not published you will see it with this background color so the public cannot see it right now so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go back to incognito mode just to prove to you that the public cannot see this I'm going to enter this in and I'm going to try to view that result the public cannot see it it says 403 means access denied so right now the public cannot see it I can tell it's access denied because if I right click and I click on network over here and I refresh you will see that the status code that I receive is a 403 status code that means access denied so I am not able to see this result or the public cannot see this result until it is published so let's go back and publish that I'm gonna click edit right here and from this edit again this is granularity is constituency and the constituency is 001 and the district is Kailahu I can I have checked that already and this is for the East and the date the parliamentary everything here is correct but the party is not correct SLPP I need to put SLPP here now let me check the vote the vote here is 11816 check the vote 11816 uh, she got what 62.2 percent and here she got 62.2 percent so this is the correct one and the result status is provisional I'm going to change that to that the source I'm going to put neck for now and I'm going to switch this to published and then when I scroll down I'm going to say I have checked and verified that this result is correct and I will save this so now that I've saved it it has been published the public can now see it I'm gonna go back to my incognito mode over here I was getting a 403 now if I refresh this page the result is now available for the public if I go back to parliamentary result right here and from this parliamentary result if I filter again by August 2011 and I filter constituency result and I filter for the district Kailahu and I then apply I will see there are two results Alice Foyo and Abdul Mustafa and Alice Foyo was the highest right so I have confirmed that I have updated verified 
and publish to result and I came as a public user and I checked and I can see the result that I publish. This is what group one will be doing, publishing result. And we have a whole lot of result. If you want to see all of the result that needs to be published, just click on get involved here and then click on statistics. And from statistics, you will see that this is all the result we have 1,389 election results right now altogether. We have 1,195 candidates. We have 557 voter registration centers. We have 148 villages. We have 63 electoral news items, and then we have 11 volunteers. This is the amount that is published. Out of these statistics up here, we have about half of them published. A whole lot has not been published. And we want to publish all of these things here that have not been published. If I go to static statistics of unpublished, we can see this is the ones that have not been published. And all of this is what we want to publish today. So for election results, you are going to be publishing about 1,122. And as you publish result, this number is going to change dynamically. So that's it for the election result. And in the next video, I will walk you through how to, uh, I'll walk you through, I'll walk group two uh, through 